Hey everybody, this is Dana with Care Love Ministries. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to go over the last uh, video that I did. Boy, did I not think it was going to make that much controversy. But it stirred up the comments, and I have to say thank you, because really, that's the first time in a long time that I've seen any comments come across, and I was wondering if my channel really was doing anything or going to go anywhere, or if anybody was going to watch or pay attention or anything. So up front, I want to say this. I believe that medications you should take when they are needed. For instance, when I got my heart surgery, when all my arteries were clogged and they cleaned me out, they uh, put me on medicines. They put me on uh, statins. They put me on blood thinners. They put me on beta blockers. They put me on uh, everything that you normally would be put on. And I took it all because I had just had a heart attack, just got my stents all, you know, put in arteries all cleared out and you do what the doctor tells you to do at first. But you know, what I noticed is that I felt old with the statins depositing into my, you know, joints and muscles. I felt really old. So I lost 125 pounds. Oh, by the way, a shout out to Scott and his 85 pound loss. That's awesome, dude. And I appreciate the conversations back and forth. Um, and I'm glad that you're on uh, your diet um, and that it's working well for you. Um, I used to be on that diet when it used to be called a different name. But however... I find that if I live what I call an 80-20 vegan lifestyle, it fits perfectly. I eat a little bit of everything because I believe that eating everything of one thing is too much. So I eat a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit here. You need certain things out of vegetables, so I will never cut those out because they provide iron, they provide... Uh, vitamin D, vitamin B, vitamin K. Um, so cutting all those out and just going straight meat is that's not going to work for me. Um, it may work from other, some others and some others, they may have tried it as well and don't want to live on it. Um, so I actually do, it's kind of like pescatarian, I guess, but I eat 80% vegan. And then 20% of the time I eat chicken and fish, salmon and tuna is the main, but then I'll eat some chicken. Um, I do make what they call a vegan pizza, but it is not a hundred percent because it's got wheat bread and not, uh, vegetable crust. You know, it's not zucchini and, uh, cauliflower crust, um, I always read and look for expressor oils that are used in such things like that. So the biggest thing I do is I have eaten that way. I have lost 125 pounds. I am in the gym now and I have been lifting weights now for two years. Um, everybody that's been following my ride from the beginning, uh, you kind of know where I started. Um, and I was very weak and very, uh, not able to do much, but as soon as I got off the cholesterol medicine and everything like this, now the doctors are always pushing me. Um, I've got some other videos where doctors were trying to put me on some medicines when I didn't even have a problem. They wanted to put me on a medicine to control my, uh, blood pressure but I've never had blood pressure even when I had my slight heart attack and I went into the hospital. I did not have any high blood pressure, which is weird, but my blood pressure wasn't high. The only thing that I noticed is that whenever you do your cholesterol test, there's a cholesterol blood ratio, the very first number. And normally it's like 2.75, 3.3. Uh, but 
right before my heart attack, mine was 5.5. So that should have been an indication. Plus, if you look under my right eye, um, if you look, well, you might not be able to see it, but there's actually some discoloration under my eye. Well, that was a sign that I had high cholesterol. That was a sign that something bad was going to happen because fatty deposits were developing under my eyeball on the eyelid. So if anybody out there watches this video that is looking at anything about cholesterol or statins, if you start to notice any type of fatty deposits that are developing, get checked out. I am not a doctor and I always say I don't claim to be one. I am just giving you my experience. Now, I want to do a video and have some fun, but I want people to comment and let me know what you think. I want to kind of do like a, a quiz video and uh, I want to start doing lives, but I don't know who would show up or how many would show up or anything like that. And my dog's getting ready to bark because it is a retired police dog that uh, I uh, have. Her name is Shadow and she is coming in here right now. And she is just later head in my lap, but you probably heard her bark. Isn't that right, baby girl? All right. So what I'd like to do is see how many comments I get and see how many people would like to do the, uh, the quiz and we can have some fun. If you would like me to do some lives, let me know that as well. I would like to do and talk about things that you guys would like to talk about and we could go from there. But anyway, I know I gave Sh Scott a shout out and I like to give everybody uh, a shout out that has been commenting. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you and the new subscribers. Thank you and welcome. And uh, let's have some fun. So let me know. Take care, guys.